water signs. So I am going to be doing videos for you guys today um, regarding the new moon in Aries energy. Um, I will be doing them for each of the elements, so water signs, air signs, etc. You guys are my last group, so I um, am going to be pulling from six different decks. Uh, these are going to resonate with all um, water sign placements, so it could be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or South Node. Um, these are general messages, so take what resonates. Don't try to force it. This might be... the roles may be reversed. Um, you may resonate with some of it, but not all of it. Uh, so just keep that in mind and let's get right into it. I am going to start with Butterfly Oracle cards because of the new moon in Aries. Um, these cards represent life changes or things that are coming your way. So I wanted to start with those just to see what you guys, the energy you guys are dealing with at this time. And then we will get into the or the rest of the Oracle cards. Um, this is going to be for water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um... Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and South Node. Moving is the first card you guys got. So some of you guys might be moving, considering moving, wanting to move, planning it right now. Another card for water signs. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. No changes for you guys. Healthcare change. So some of you guys interesting this card does often come out when you guys are just trying to take care of your body more some of you guys might be thinking about dieting changing things up some of you guys might be focused on like getting the vaccine or something like that um so that you can move and that you feel more safe and comfortable moving some of you guys might just be traveling more and moving around more now that things are starting to open back up jesus okay that like flew across the room self-care you guys need to focus on self-care so with that um health care change coming out that card comes out a lot when people need to like eat better um work out like do more like take care be more present with their body if that makes any sense so water signs you guys might need to focus on that right now especially if you're moving moving typically does take a lot of energy or just moving around doing a lot of busy like you're busy right now um please take care of yourselves because that's going to be important for you guys for this new moon in Aries um so let's see what next what next let's actually do some goddess cards to see what energy is around you right now the goddesses will let you know what energy you're working with what energy you need to embody or just what's influencing you at this time oh my gosh um communication is needed oh sorry <clears throat> these cards are falling so, communication, and you guys got mastery. So, c communication is needed at some point in your life. I don't know where, but I think that this is going to what's, go that's what's going to ultimately help you guys master whatever it is. I'm going to turn this down just so it's a little bit bright. You guys, uh, it'll help you master whatever it is you guys are trying to accomplish right now. Um, but there, I feel like there's an imbalance I'm just feeling that, especially with you guys getting healthcare change and then moving. I feel like you guys have a lot going on or you're just kind of overwhelmed right now and you are trying to like ma reach this mastery point, but right now you do need self-care. And with the mastery card coming out or falling out and it's, it's mastery and then self-care and communication, I feel like with that, it's kind of a sequence of showing me that you need to, yes, you're focused on mastery, but you need to focus on self-care and you need to actually communicate your needs better or just communicate like what's going on in your life more. You may be not on the same page with some people or you might just be like, feeling disconnected from people around you right now especially with that moving card if you just feel at a distance from people or whatever the case may be that could be what's happening for you guys because communication is a um a 23 breaking down to a five so it's about adapting changes conflicts confrontations needing to happen so con um the communication card coming out it does seem like you guys need to talk to somebody about something um Let's see here. Do I want to pull one more of these? I'll do one more goddess card. Just clarify this spread spirit and see what the water signs are working with right now. Independence. So you guys may be very much focused on your independence right now. So that communication card coming out, you may need to express that to someone. You may be dealing with someone and with the self-care coming out and the moving, it's like you may need to feel like right now you're doing something for you or like yeah I just heard that like I have to do this for me so that may be something that you guys feel 
and need to communicate with someone that you need to put yourself first for once like that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up on here for water signs um I am going to pull the um Actually, I'm going to pull Romance Oracle cards next just because I am picking up on some dynamic for you guys, someone in your life. It could, it could, it could be, like, somebody else, like, family, um, but for some of you it is family, but I do feel like for some of you it's also a relationship of some kind that I'm going to clarify. So this is actually, um... The Romance Angels Oracle deck and what I'm going to do is pull cards for both singles and people in a dynamic or in some kind of relationship but I will clarify which is which. I'm going to start um, first by just seeing what water signs are dealing with in general. What are water signs dealing with on a romantic level right now, spirit? What is it that water signs are dealing with? Trust. So I feel like you guys need to trust. Yeah, it says the situation is calling for you to have faith. So some of you guys need, may need to communicate like, so actually what I'm hearing is that some of you guys might be moving or you're dealing with a lot and you are feeling overwhelmed and you do feel like you need this self-care or you do feel like you need to put yourself first or you may have these tough decisions that you need to make, but you need to trust that like whoever you're dealing with is going to understand that and is going to um, like wants to be there for you because this card is like very, it honestly looks like wow like with everything i'm saying that is crazy because i'm just seeing this image of this man looks like he has like a some kind of military suit on or just something and then this woman it seems like she has um like i don't know she's wearing a white dress but i just feel like she's like holding on to him and they have this embrace where it's like she's um like i'm there for you i trust you or like i'm you know i just feel like they're i feel their bond in this image and um I see it as needing like maybe this person this man it's like he's gonna go away like I see him like moving away or having to go embark on this journey for his, the sake of his like work or like his responsibilities and this woman is like okay I trust you like I'll be here when you get back kind of thing um that is really what I'm picking up on here that is so interesting and it looks like Cupid is like right behind them so I do feel like there's love here, like, in this connection. So maybe at first I was kind of feeling like you guys didn't want this connection because you got the independence and, you know what I mean, the moving and the self-care card. I felt like you guys are very much focused on yourself. But I do feel like there's love here. You guys might just... Water signs, I feel like you guys care a lot. Like, you have so much emotions and sometimes you guys kind of, like get overwhelmed by them or they like start to consume you so you might just be trying to focus on not allowing that to happen or just like needing to um focus on yourself right now and needing this person to trust that you do care but right now it's just you putting yourself first um I'm gonna pull something else so i feel like that is for people in a relationship can we get some clarity for people who are singles um for singles when uh, regarding trust, I feel like you guys just need to trust, like, being open to, um, new connections coming in, if that makes any sense. But can we clarify for singles? What are single water signs dealing with right now, or what should they focus on at this time? Oh my gosh, these cards are, like, aggressive today. Playfulness and retreat. So some of you guys might need to go and just have fun. Um, summer's coming up, so some of you, like, especially with things opening up and everyone getting their vaccines, you guys might want to go on a vacation or just go and do something fun. Um, I feel like this could honestly be for singles as well, or sorry, people in a relationship as well, especially since you guys were talking about, um... Like, I feel like some of you guys might be at a distance, so some of you could be... I hate that these cards are doing this. It's the time of the day, but sorry that you can't see that moving card. But um, if some of you guys are at a distance or you're moving around a lot or you're really busy, I do feel like your relationship might benefit from, like, going away together or going on some kind of vacation or just making time to have some fun together. Um, the playfulness card says, To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So it's actually funny because... When I was looking at this Cupid card, or like Cupid in this card, I also th thought about how Cupid is like a baby and relates to love and relationships, and it made me think of like inner child healing and needing to like uh, heal your inner child so that you can trust. So there may be like, this group might deal with abandonment issues or like fear of abandonment, things like that is what I'm picking up on. So with that communication and independence card, it's like you may be working on your independence because you fear... Like, you have a codependent nature to you, or you just fear abandonment, so you um, 
like hold on tightly to things if that makes any sense or this could be the person that you're dealing with you know and that both of you guys just need to trust and just communicate better and open up to each other because there is definitely a way to maintain your independence and still like be in a like romantic dynamic if that's what you guys are worried about um and then for for uh, water signs in general people who are dealing with someone or just what they need to hear right now um in regards to that trust in regards to this uh playfulness and retreat in regards to the spread in general okay one more time this is for water signs um cancer scorpio pisces whoa they're making me work and run for these cards true love so whoever you're dealing with this is true love it says this is the romance of a lifetime this card that's beautiful so it, like with that trust card coming out and me saying this is love with the cupid being hit, hiding behind them it's like you guys uh, this person is your true love and you need to if you're trying to avoid that or you are having a hard time embracing that I feel like it is something that you guys need to admit to yourself or that you can trust that that is if that's what you're feeling and you're just worried that it's not the truth um I feel that you guys can trust that this person is your true love and that there is a lot of potential here um I just feel like right now you guys might be ra uh lacking fun and playfulness in the relationship and that's really what has caused whatever um I just feel stress I just feel a lot of stress and it might be both of you like you're both just working on things and both trying to establish your independence you know what I mean and um I definitely do feel like there is some tension or some stress or just a disconnect in this connection so keep that in mind I'm gonna pull moonology cards next and that will clarify just kind of what things are coming toward you um if you need clarity on a situation like maybe if you are wondering when these things are going to start picking up for you how you should take action what is needed for this uh situation to move forward um if you're wondering when you're going to be moving or when that's going to pick up for you if some of you in this group are moving um this will clarify those things for you the moonology deck so um consider or focus right now on what you need clarity on and this will provide that answer for you. Okay, emotions are running high, so I definitely do feel like you guys, water signs, are um, are feeling a lot emotionally. So for any like cross watchers, if you guys feel like this person is just focused on um, themselves right now, like their independence, and you know, um, you're not really sure what's going on because they aren't communicating that I do feel like there is, like, a lot of emotions here. Like, this person is just tr possibly trying to process them. Oh, and like I said, I don't want to go grab that right now. Gosh, I have to. But, <laughs> like I said, um, they might have a hard time balancing, like, their work and their their feelings, you know what I mean? Or they might recognize that they're the type of person who does get kind of overwhelmed by their feelings and so they're trying to avoid them right now because they do have so many responsibilities and they're just trying to master their like possibly career or just some some aspect of their life right now. Um let me grab this card. Oh, your hard work is paying off. That's what you got. New moon and Capricorn. So, um, some of you might have Capricorn placements or Earth placements. Um, I do pick up on that from this reading just because of the, like, mastery card. And, um, I don't know. I'm just definitely feeling there's, like, this, like, you guys could have Virgo placements. You could have Capricorn placements. I just pick up on this desire for, like, wealth and success and to get things done. Um, so that could definitely resonate with some of you guys um, But it, it says your hard work is paying off So whatever you're working on right now Like the mastery that you're trying to achieve You can trust that it is coming in And you can um, believe that everything that you've been working toward Is going to come full circle for you One more card for water signs please A win-win for oh yeah that's great a win-win outcome is forecast so I do feel like you guys have nothing to truly worry about and then the fact that I see it it says a win-win is like I feel like this is you guys are going to be able to balance those things like you are going to actually figure out how to make both work and your this mastery is not just going to be in regards to your career but in like balancing your life out if that makes any sense um and then the win-win outcome forecast is it says full moon in libra so some of you guys might have libra placements as well um but it is 
related to balance and so you that uh sorry i don't know why my words are slipping me but you are going to be able to achieve that balance that i've been speaking on this whole connection uh this whole relationship <laughs> what is my brain doing this i obviously that's what spirit wanted me to talk about the you guys are going to find balance in this connection but <laughs> that is so funny i feel like you're also going to find balance within your life you know what i mean and within being able to balance this connection with all of your priorities responsibilities and obligations um do i want to pull any other cards you guys have like the shortest video to be honest because um i don't know i feel like that message was really clear i can pull some tarot cards just to kind of see um what you guys need to focus on what is going to be coming up for you what you can expect moving forward or just the energy surrounding you at this time ace of cups so with that win-win outcast forecast coming up and then me saying like this is going me uh accidentally saying relationship and connection i do feel like that is coming together um for you guys or it's going to be there's going to be some potential there for a new beginning or just to bring that passion back into your life or into your connection with that playfulness card coming out you know you like i said some of you might end up going on like a little retreat or a vacation or something with your partner and i do feel like with the magician card coming out next you are focused on how to make this work like you want you have a lot of ambitions and you're like nah i gotta make this work like i want it all like i don't want to have to sacrifice one thing you know what i mean um but you do have the five of cups card coming out and so i think that right now you guys need to like think about the bigger picture and focus like even that trust and um what are the other cards like the emotions are running high card coming out the communication i feel like this five of cups is relating to you guys being maybe like like i said focused on like how this may not work or focused on if there are some hardships that you guys in your relationship have experienced or in your life in general that you've experienced some disappointment some ba um delays or like things that setbacks um then i feel like you guys are gonna be you, that you right now you're dwelling on the spilled milk like you're dwelling on the spilled over cups when you need to focus on like the silver linings and the positive things that are still happening in your life because that five of cups traditional card is the guy crying over the cups when he has the other cups that are still upright you know so it's like you guys need to focus on the positives about this connection about your goals about anything that's happening in your life and stop dwelling on the negative things because those things are tem temporary or they're able to be addressed you know what i mean they're able to fix be fixed and if there's more positives outweighing the negatives then what's the point of focusing on the negatives you know um empress so yeah this connection needs more love and nurturing um the person that you're dealing with could also have empress energy or you could be the empress um in just being i think that's like what is that taurus and libra energy so i did get the libra full moon card so some of you might have those libra placements um but i just feel like the empress card coming out just reflects you needing to bring more love into the situation and being able like this is a time where you need to with the full moon full moon in aries i keep trying to say that today new moon in aries being about planting seeds and being intentional and putting you know um nurture nurturing and love into like what you want so that it can bloom and manifest and grow um i do feel like with that empress coming out it's telling you that that's kind of what you need that the empress is like very very um what's the word like fertile like they're the empress it's not like the empress goes without but the empress also approaches everything with love you know what i mean so they know that they are they literally like exude abundance the empress so you need to like kind of remember that like i feel like with this group me saying that you guys could have like capricorn or virgo influence or whatever i just feel like this group needs to recognize that like they don't have to like hate their life or they don't have to like not have fun or what's the word yeah not have fun or just not be able to do certain things because you are so focused on this like independence and this mastery and this like growth that you're you're wanting to experience like you can have it all at once you know what i mean and i think that is what you guys are working on with getting the magician like being able to balance it all out at once so that is basically what you're being encouraged to continue to do i feel like you guys are going to be able to make this work and you are going to find that balance that you seek with the win-win forecast card coming out so i hope that that was helpful for you guys um water signs and good luck on all of your goals and just make sure to uh remember that self-care card and make time for yourself and um 
you know, that your goals are always going to be there and they're always going to, it seems like this group is very ambitious. So I don't feel like you're ever going to like fail or not accomplish them. I just feel like sometimes you need to take a step back and give yourself time to enjoy things, especially because the Empress card was the last card coming out and Empress is uh, ruled by Venus and Venus is about love and fun and harmony and joy and um treating yourself self-care so keep that in mind guys and have a good day thanks for watching bye